Ian McMillan to lead things off for the Prune Packers bottom half of the fifth inning. McMillan and then Austin Post. And the first pitch is down low, ball one. In the top half of the sixth inning, I will be joining the CCL broadcast for an inning to talk about our Prune Packers. Lucas Rumpler will be handling play-by-play -play duties in that sixth inning as the pitch misses low. The count 2-0. Oh. It'll be McMillan, Boast, and Target, 9-1-2. and two. McMillan 0-1, for one. struck out swinging in the third. Evan Larson still on the mound for the Blues. 2-0. Inside. McMillan crowding the play has to dance out of the way a little bit. 3-0. Larson hoping for a shutdown inning after giving up the two runs in the bottom of the fourth. Three on McMillan. It's down in the dirt. Ball four. McMillan. Reaches to start the bottom of the fifth. Packers looking to take the lead. And that'll bring in the leadoff man, Austin Bost, who's 0 for 2. Grounded out to the shortstop, Mercado, in the first. And struck out swinging in the third. I didn't know they were going to be playing the walk-up songs for all of the uh, players here at the CCL tournament. So it's nice to... Hear the walk-up songs. I thought Monday was the last time I was going to hear all those walk-up songs, but I guess not. As first pitch to Bose misses inside. Ball one. Five straight balls to start the fifth inning for Larson. Let's see, Blues bullpen may be getting into action here shortly. McMillan off first. The 1-0. Swung on and foul tipped into Esperanza's glove. The count even at 1-1. One and one. Blues playing for the double play ball up the middle with nobody out. Third base coach manager Joey Gomes giving the signs. One ball and one strike on Ian McMillan. Larson sets the pitch. Breaking ball misses up and away. The count two and one. If you're just joining us, we're tied at two, bottom of the fifth. Blues led 2 nothing after three and a half. Packers came back and tied it in the bottom of the fourth. Now we are in the bottom of the fifth, still tied at two as Bose loops one into center field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Up to third, McMillan. The back throw to second goes over the head of the second baseman. Kretzmar actually goes all the way to the catcher, Esperanza. So a single for Bose. Two on, nobody out for the Prune Packers. Uh, that'll bring in the switch hitting Ryan Targic. There's action in the Blues bullpen, and whoever's warming up down there just threw a pitch and nearly went into the Blues dugout, and it scared the coaching staff, which is sitting in front of the dugout. So I'm going to try and get a number for you to see who's warming up for the Blues. The way we're set up here at McBean Stadium, we are right behind home plate, but we have a giant pull that's right in our way. So we'll, we'll see. Runners on first and second. Nobody out. Ryan Target at the plate. He's one for two, singled in the first, grounded out in the third. And the first pitch. That's low. And the count, 1-0. McMillan on second, boast off first, nobody out. And the pitch, swung on, fouled, back to the screen. And the count even at one and one. Man in the bullpen for the Blues, Ryan Ward warming up. Blues in a jam, Larson trying to get out of it. 
One ball and one strike. The pitch. Swung on a line in the left field for a base hit. Let's see if they send McMillan. They will. The throw from the left fielder, Costello, will be cut off. Throw goes to second. They have Boast in a rundown. The throw goes back to the third baseman, Grotto. Boast on his way to third. The throw is in time to get Boast. They barely get him. Up to second goes Targic. The run scores. The Packers lead it 3-2. So it goes as an RBI single. Targets moves to second in the middle of the rundown. Boast out at third, one out. And that'll bring in Cam Blake. But as I said, the Packers now lead it three to two. So you score that a single and then uh, seven, five, four, five, six put out. So. Target singles home the go-ahead run. Packers lead at 3-2. We'll have a pitching change with one out here in the fifth and Cam Blake coming up here on the Healdsburg Prune Packer Radio Network. New pitcher for the Blues is the right-hander Ryan Ward. 6'2", 190 pounder out of San Antonio, Texas and UTSA, University of Texas at San Antonio. Comes in making his 13th appearance of the season, two and one with a 1.98 ERA. 26 strikeouts to 16 walks in 22 and two thirds innings. And he's gonna come in facing left-handed hitting Cam Blake with a runner on second, that's Ryan Targich. Packers lead at 3-2 and the pitch low and inside the count one and zero. Oh. Three straight base runners to start this fifth inning for the Prune Packers. The one out, Austin Bose, being thrown out at third. Pitch swung on, hit in the air, in play. Costello giving chase down the line. He's going to dive, and did he make the catch? He did. Nick Costello with a heck of a play in the Blues bullpen, diving and making the play, retiring Cam Blake, a big second out for the Blues. And a big out for Ward. So Blake retired, and that'll bring in Torrin Montgomery. Montgomery 0 for 1 officially. Struck out swinging in the first, was hit by a pitch, and came around to score in the fourth. A reminder, Lucas Rumpler will be doing play-by-play -play in the sixth inning, and I'll be back for the seventh. First pitch to Montgomery is inside, maybe a bit high as well. The count 1-0. Ward last pitched on the 30th against the Oaks, going two and a third. No runs, no hits. Striking out two, end up getting the save and a 6-3 to three Blues victory. 1-0. Montgomery takes a fastball strike, the count even at 1-1. One A run in the fifth for the Prune Packers. They've given them the lead. Finnegan Wall getting up for the third time in the Packer bullpen. One ball and one strike to Montgomery. The pitch swung on foul back and look out Blake Burke in the on deck circle. He's going to take a walk away from where that ball was hit. Maybe get a little, little bit further away from home plate. And they count one and two on Montgomery. Prune Packers up three to two with a chance to extend their lead. The one two to Montgomery. Swung on foul back to the screen. We'll do it again. Target just leading off second. Ward trying to keep this at a one run deficit for the Blues. He holds the set, checks targets a couple times the pitch. One, two, line down the left field line. That's going to get in for a base hit. Coming around third is Target. He will score. It's an RBI single for Torrin Montgomery, and the Packers extend their lead of four to two. So 
So big hit for Montgomery, gives them some breathing room, and now they give Blake Burke a chance with a runner on. And Targets getting to second in that rundown proves to be huge because now he scores on that single. As Burke takes ball one inside, the count 1-0. Talking about the key to this inning that has gone wrong for the Blues so far as there's a strike, fastball in the outer half, count one and one. Of the six batters Blues pitching has faced, not one of them has thrown a first pitch strike. Packers have been getting ahead and taking advantage as the pitch is low, gets away from Esperanza, but not too much to count two and one. 4-2, Packers lead it. They trail 2-0, but a pair of runs in the fourth and a pair of runs here in the fifth have put them up 4-2, looking for more. 2-1. Inside, and they're going to say that hit Burke. They've got him on the foot and maybe the shin. So Burke is going to reach second prune Packer hitter to be hit. Now this afternoon, runners on first and second for Braden Runyon. Runyon two for two this afternoon, had a two-run single that tied this game in the fourth. And as Joey Gump said out of the third base coaching box, no one hotter, and he has been swinging a hot bat. And the first pitch inside, the count one to no. And again, another first pitch ball for the Blues. Seven straight batters they faced in this inning. They've fallen behind in the count. Pitch swung on, fouled down the right field line and out of play. And the count one and one. Wall still the only one up. And Jesse Lopez has grabbed the bat and has gone into the on deck circle. He would hit for Kimball Schusler if we got that far. 1-1. One one. Swung on and missed. Blew the fastball right by him in the count 1-2. and two. Make it Lopez hit for Schusler. That means Cole Ellis would go in defensively in the top of the sixth. But in order for Lopez to hit, Runyon has to get on. It's down the count 1-2. and two. And the pitch. Swung on, chopped foul, and we'll do the 1-2 again. Temperature's actually gone up since we started. We're now up to an even 99 degrees. That was the predicted high today, so. So we tick past 4 p.m. local time here in Lincoln. The one, two. Swung on, hit sharply, and throw in the right center field for a base hit. Coming around third is Montgomery, bobbled in right field by Trinka. Monty scores easily, Burke up to third. Braden Runyon, three for three, his third RBI. And the Packers now lead it five to two. So the inning continues, and Jesse Lopez will pinch hit. So Lopez will hit for Schusler. So, so Jesse Lopez will pinch hit. And Lopez getting a standing ovation from some of our Packer fans and gets fans like a dear careless whisper. Lopez at 412, six homers, 25 RBIs, battling an injury. In a big spot, runners are at the corners with two out. Lopez, one hit and three at bats on Monday against the Santa Rosa A's. 
Packers have scored three times in this fifth, and he takes inside ball one. One to know the count. Runyon off first. Burke off third. Packers have nearly batted around here in this fifth inning. They scored three times, hoping for more. The pitch. There's a fastball strike, and the count even at one and one. So you think Cole Elvis will take over behind the plate in the top of the six, but we'll see. Five to two Packers. And the pitch is chopped foul. And the count one and two. So Finnegan Wall stopped throwing in the bullpen. Looks like he's going to come in in the sixth inning. And he's going to work with at least a three-run lead. One ball, two strikes to Lopez. The pitch, fastball in there. Strike three called on the inner half. Lopez down looking to end the inning. But the Packers score three runs on four hits, and they leave two. And at the end of five innings of play, five to two Packers here on the Heels Creek Prune Packer Radio Network.